gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, we got to talk about something. Sorry, my um, phone just started talking for some stupid reason. But, you know, I had to unstupid it because it can be stupid when it feels like being stupid. It is 1 o'clock in the morning, 102, and I shouldn't be up. But somebody called, and I've been up ever since. That's how it is. Once I'm asleep, if I'm up, I'm up. I'll be going back to sleep in a minute because it's going to be a long day. I have noticed that a lot of people have been talking about going after officials' bonds a lot more lately than previous. I know that that has occurred as a result of my bringing it to people's attention to go after their bonds. Ladies and gentlemen, contact your city council, your city, I mean, excuse me, county board of supervisors. Contact those idiots. If they're not called board of supervisors, whatever they're called in your county, the county manager, the city manager, contact those intelligent creatures. Tell them of the official, give them the name. If it's a police officer, if it's the city police officer, then you contact the city manager. If it's the county police that you're having problem with, then you contact the county manager. Give them the name of the officer. File a complaint. Create your own complaint. Have ChatGPT created. Explain to ChatGPT exactly what happened. Document the rights that were violated and then tell ChatGPT. Let's give you an example, okay? I was just creating a software with my chat gpt uh it's called xp3 files um yeah it's vitify on target it's a code creator cut creator so we're gonna i can't click on this as you all know so we're gonna give you guys an example then i'm gonna go off to 99 i have some things that i need to do but i definitely need to get some rest so covington law pro I need some assistance. Wake up. Wake up. I need some assistance. Comma. I live in Fulton County, Georgia. Comma. A sheriff deputy pulled me over the other day. Comma. And demanded I show him my identification without telling me the reason for him pulling me over. Period. I told him that he has to articulate a reasonable suspicion that I've committed a crime. Comma. He said he didn't have to. Period. He even threatened to break my window because I wouldn't roll it all the way down. Comma. I told him there is no law that allows me to follow a command as a direct order for rolling my window all the way down, period. He brought up some issue of public safety and his safety, comma, I reminded him of a more important safety factor, comma, my safety, comma, that he has a gun and I do not. And because of the rash of police brutality cases and police shootings of unarmed individuals, I was afraid. Plus, it was at night, and I didn't trust him because I had never met this person before. And here he is acting like he's my god or boss or lord when he's just a public servant, period. He said I was presumed to be operating a motor vehicle. Comma, I told him that I was conducting private business comma, for private use, comma, non-commercial business, comma, household use, comma, consumer use, and as defined by commercial law, which has been adopted by the state of Georgia, comma, those items are exempt from regulations, period. What I need to do is file a complaint with risk management for the county since they oversee the insurance bond for sheriff's deputies. I need to file a complaint against the county 
comma, against a sheriff officer whose name was Mr. McDade, or Officer McDade, comma, and the sheriff's department. I believe the chief of the sheriff's department name is Ralphin, comma, but not sure, period. I need you to create three separate complaints for these three separate individuals, comma, and I need for you to document the fact that I am suing for $100,000 per constitutional violation. Period. The law makes it a crime to deprive anyone of their secured rights under colorable law. Period. The statutes of Georgia are colorable law because they are not the law. And to violate my secured rights while following a colorable law or a law of presumption is a violation of their constitutional oath. Period. These officers are required to have an oath of office on file to protect my rights. Comma, this officer wasn't interested in my rights. He even threatened to arrest me. Period. He started to unholster his gun, ordering and barking commands. Period. These three complaints are to be filed with risk management for the county and will also be filing a complaint against the state for the actions of this officer, comma, notifying them that if any incident should happen again or there be any retaliation, that I will proceed to file a separate complaint against the same individuals for conspiracy to violate my rights which is a violation of the Civil Rights Act of 1866. Period. I need this letter to remain in the context in which I have given you. I need you to also incorporate case citations for the state of Georgia, as well as, comma, the actual statutory laws that may or may not have been violated by this officer, period. You are not to give me any conjecture, comma, any nuances, comma, any clarifications, period. As a matter of fact, you will keep your opinion to yourself because I don't want to hear it. Exclamation mark. You will not explain what you're doing. Comma, you will do what I told you to do. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, basically I just gave it a story. And I gave it the parameters in which it was to operate and move forward regarding the story I gave it. And then at the end I told him, this is my story. Don't fit up. <sighs> Okay, so remember I asked him for three separate complaints, and that's what you're going to do. Three separate complaints. Why three separate, separate complaints? Because you're bringing a claim against each one of them. Okay, and you'll fill in the complaints as to everything. All right, because see, what happens is when you start doing certain things, people start making threats. Okay, understand, when you make that second complaint against their bond, they're unbondable. Well, they will have to go and find another bonding agent. That's an automatic. But three separate complaints against their bond? And that's why you, if anybody retaliates, you go after, you can go after the county's bond. Make the county unbondable. I'm getting ready to do that myself. I just did a video talking about how I practice what I preach. See, I told them, leave me the, alone. They said, mother, you ain't nobody. So, 
Shark G is no longer here with us, ladies and gentlemen. You see, he introduced himself. His name was Humpty. Pronounced with the Humpty. Okay, well, my name ain't Humpty. When I introduce myself, I introduce myself. And by the time I leave the room, I promise you'll never forget me. I guarantee you'll know that I was there. Oh, he added that there was a search conducted without probable cause. Uh-uh. He's got to do this again. We got to go back up to the top. You know what? I got to check that, too. Hold on. Let me do two things. We're going to open this back up because we're going to edit it. Got to go all the way to the bottom. Wake up. And I don't want to hear anything about no stupid 14th Amendment. Comma, the 14th Amendment only applies to federal citizens. I am not a federal citizen, you moron. So do not bring up the 14th Amendment. It is the 4th Amendment, the 5th Amendment, the 1st Amendment, the 10th Amendment, and the 9th Amendment. And I don't want to see you produce a single letter without putting in the laws for the state of Georgia that cover the offenses that I've listed. Comma, don't play games with me. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, what they have taken away is the ability to refresh once he gives an answer. So you literally have to go back in and edit. Just click edit and then hit send again. And that's your refresh capabilities. They've taken that ability away. And that's ChatGPT trying to interfere with most of your research. See, they don't want people giving advice like this. But they, there's nothing they can do about it. Because all I'm doing is directing people the process for creating a template. Now, you see how he's going slow right now? Because he's trying to figure out how to get around what I just told him to do. <sighs> poor, poor idiot. Hold on. See, you don't have that refresh, so I hit down. And let's see. And I do that to take care of him with his stupidity. Wait, do I get another one? No, I don't get to do it again. Oh, dude. So we have to go back up here. Because normally we would have that refresh down there. But recall up. We have to do it up here. So give it a second. And yes, when you do give it a bad mark, they do document it. They can't, they can't have all of their people saying that. Wake up, you stupid idiot. Comma, where are my codes for the state of Georgia? Question mark. Stop listening. You see how he did that? Didn't want to answer my question. So I do that again. And then I do that same thing and now he gives me the more detailed documentation there we go see that's what I'm looking for that's what I'm looking for and you can add the details whatever details you think he's missing you can add those details later after he completes the letter and there you go ladies and gentlemen Start going to county commissioners or county board of blah, 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 whatever they are called, city council, go to those idiots and say enough. I'm tired of being pulled over. I'm tired of being harassed. And I'm tired of people treating me like I'm some stupid sovereign citizen. So let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow your laws. That's right. Oh, and by the way, if you interfere with this process, then I'm going to sue the insurance company. For your interference and then i'm going to file another complaint against your bond that's this is how we do it this is how you do it ladies and gentlemen and you follow through let this be your mission many of you guys are broke so let's go get some money
I'm not joking. And I don't mind. I don't mind you telling them Eon sent you. Okay? Because I'm tired. I promise you I'm tired. And it's not because it's 1.30 in the morning. I'm tired of the stupidity. I just watched a video of a police officer pulling over a young lady, 18 years old, college student. And the lady knew, said the, the original claim was that it was a stolen vehicle. But then before they asked her to get out the car, she knew that the car wasn't stolen. She knew it was the wrong car. The officer still pulled her gun out on the young lady while the other officer is in front of the car pulling out his gun on the young lady, ordering her to get out of the car and to walk backwards, and they put her in handcuffs and then searched her car. Well, that's illegal. That's an illegal search. There was no probable cause for the stop, and there was no probable cause for a search. They didn't even ask her if it was okay to search her vehicle. If the car was indeed believed to be stolen, if it was, and she told her, check my registration, and they did not. They refused. Problem is, they had already checked it. That's how the officer knew that it wasn't stolen. Oh, we thought she was reaching for a gun, and she was only going in the car for her cell phone. And they kill her. They didn't kill this young lady. She, she survived the incident. But just imagine the excuse they would have made and brought up if. See, officers are always talking about their safety. I don't give up about your safety. Your safety ain't got nothing to do with me. I am not required to be concerned about your safety. If that's your concern, then you be concerned about it out there. I'm going to be concerned about my safety in here. No, I'm not stepping out of the car. You haven't given me an articulable reason for stepping out of the car. For your safety. Nick, if I step up, don't let me sit up here and call you by your mama's name. Okay? Step out of this car and talk about that's for your safety. No, my stepping out of this car is my giving up a right. I have a right to be secure in my property. This is my property, you ignorant mother. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. Sometimes he goes there. Even when he's tired, it's even worse. You guys should see him when nobody's around. He has those conversations for real. Why? Because he prepares for circumstances. He prepares for ignorance because he knows they're prepared for him. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this provides a wealth of information for you. Hey, y'all take care, and I got to go take sleep. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time. Anyway, bye.